this morning, the big showdown between the 49ers and the Chiefs just one day away now. And those who flocked to Miami paid a pretty penny to stay in hotels near and far from the action. Reporter Blair Lede is in Miami this morning to tell us more. Blair, good morning. Good morning to you, Ariana. That is right. A lot of cash for people. You will not believe how much they are spending if they want to come down to Magic City. Now, take a look at these prices. They are unbelievable. Walking through sliding hotel doors, even almost 20 miles away from the Hard Rock Stadium, football fans will hear this. Hi. Hello there. Welcome. Do you have any rooms available tonight? We don't. We're actually sold out. <laughs> It's the same on Miami Beach, and those who want to live lavish in places like the Fountain Blue, rooms running for up to almost $4,000 a night. So you are a super host? I am, four times in a row. Okay, really busy right now. Really busy, um, but the good thing is, you know, there's a lot of people in town, not only guests who are coming for the Super Bowl, but my guest is actually working the Super Bowl halftime show. Tamika Bickham's El Portal Airbnb is booked. As demand goes up, the prices go up. Her normal rate is $58 a night, raised to 90 ahead of Super Bowl, still a steal. I've heard things like price gouging. Um, one of my clients is actually an attorney, and he told me he heard about people charging 40000 for the weekend. <laughs> the super host is booked up for four weeks. Her home has that Miami flair. And I think it's that local feel. It's that personal touch. Sits on the water with a personal entrance. It even has these South Florida guests. This is a unique location, and this is why people enjoy coming here. She says there are many hosts in her neighborhood, all busy. Airbnb is now booked. Whether at a hotel or Airbnb, big bucks to party at the big game. Now, Ariana, she says they are usually already busy through April, so this is just more money for them on top of that. Surprisingly, those Airbnbs are not allowed on Miami Beach. Reporting live from Miami, I'm Blair Lede. Back to you. All right, thanks so much. And hey, it is beautiful out there. I'm really I'm jealous there. of where she's standing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be down there too because it's just been, it just looks gorgeous out there. We're it stuck does. being gray and cloudy right now for well, sure. Well, you can pay $40,000 to be there for the weekend. So come on, <laughs> oh, pay yeah, up, Griffin. For the everyday low price. <laughs> yes, I know, right? <laughs> well, when are we going to start getting that weather? I mean,